Let's look here how we can miter um, a beam. In this case, that's two steel beams that are going to be properly cut at the corner. And I'm going to show you two techniques how you can do this. All right, number one. Here's my beam as I got it from the warehouse and made it myself, basically. This, of course, is easy to do with any kind of rectangular cross-section. Since we have a white flange cross-section, it's a little more involved. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make a co copy. Oops. We're going to make a copy. And we're going to rotate the copy. I'm going to place the copy exactly where it's going to end up, right here. Now, of course, you would never build this like that. You would nicely cut everything. And so that's what we want to do. But by placing the second copy, we can now use intersections as guidelines, which is actually very useful. Because now we can go ahead and say, I want to go from here to there all the way down and back to there and then of course back up to here so that we know what our clipping plane or our cutting plane is going to be. So now at this point I can remove one of them because now I have my plane here. And one thing that I could do before I do any kind of intersecting work is move these lines up a little bit so that they extend a little beyond what we have right here, right there, so that I get a cleaner cut. Sometimes things don't line up very well, but, but this really helps. Alrighty, so now if I go into situation here if I were to right now just highlight this beam and say right click intersect faces with model then it would intersect but the intersecting line would be created on top of the beam which is not where I want it I want it inside this grouped object right here so I'm going to double click on my beam so that I'm in group editing mode you can see all the faces right here I can select individual faces and now I can triple click on the beam, of course, and select everything. Then I can right click, intersect faces with model, which will intersect with the cutting plane that I created earlier. And what's really useful is that this line will be created now inside the context of this, um, this beam. Now I can go back out. I can get rid of my intersecting plane, you see that everything got scored really nicely, even down here in the curved areas. And then of course I can go back in here, start removing things. Now I removed a little too much, so we're going to fix that quickly. And I have a really nice nicely mitered beam right here. So this was one of the techniques that you could use. This works with the free and the pro version of SketchUp. If you have the pro version, then you can do the solid tool approach here, where you simply have your beam just like that, and take the same plane that we had earlier, but make a solid out of it. So you simply extrude it a little bit using the push-pull tool, and then still ha have it grouped, basically, so that it creates a solid. You can always double check whether it is a solid if you go to Entity Info, highlight the group, and if it calculates a volume, you're good. Now having done that, you can then go to Tools, Solid Tools, and the Trim Tool, and then select first what you want to cut out, and then cut the beam, and then when you're done with that, everything's cut nicely based on my trimming box right here. So those are two methods to fabricate accurately any geometry like this here.